You're with the man, Jesse Vargas. Now, Jesse, today we have a big fight card. What are your thoughts on today's fight card at the forum? It's an amazing show. Tonight is going to be entertainment. Real entertainment when it comes to boxing. I'm dead serious. Load this up before the fight starts. Y'all, tune in, HBO, HBO, Boxing After Dark. It really is going to be a very intriguing show of uh, boxing fight. Because you have uh, Berchet, uh, that Miguel Berchet, who's fighting against Takashi Miura. It's a fantastic fight. I'm telling you, I love it. It's a softball against a Ryan fighter. Two warriors. They only know how to fight forward. That means one going forward, they're going forward. They're going to crash. They're going to collide. They're going to, however you want to put it, it's going to be fireworks. These guys are going to go at it until someone goes down or it goes to a 12 round in a 12 round beating to either or. You know what I mean? I am leaning towards Miguel Berchet because I've known him since 2007. We're actually in the Mexican national team together. While I was in the Mexican national team, he was in the uh, youth national team. You know, he's a couple years younger than I am, but... Yeah, he's a young guy. Yeah, he, he's 25 years old. He's a young, talented fighter, world champion. You might not know it, you might not know much of him, but after tonight, I believe that you will know a lot about him. Man. He's very good. He's like the next Eric Morales. Wow, wow, that's a huge this guy's, statement. This guy's serious, man, I'm telling you. Huge statement. You know, and... Uh, I saw your post in the morning about this guy, the fight. This guy's good bro I'm dead serious like it's no joke uh, Stanford Promotions did a great job in picking up this talent you know and um, it wasn't a good move but Golden Boy uh, put in uh, Francisco Vargas against Miguel Berchet the minute that that happened I knew it was a terrible uh, decision for, from them but a good good uh, position for Miguel Berchet and now you see Miguel Berchet became world champion I know Francisco Vargas very well. He's a friend of mine also. It was tough to see that fight. Mm -hmm. I refused to go uh, because I knew both of them. I said, no, I'm just going to watch it at home. And it was brutal to see because it was an all-out war. Uh, 2016 Fight of the Year candidate. Uh, so definitely, I mean, watch the fight Saturday night, Takashi Miura tonight. Takashi Miura against Miguel Berchet is going to be a fantastic fight. I promise you this. You know what I mean? I, if you'd be in front of me, I'd bet you $100 right now. It's going to be a great fight. Now, you say Perchet is very much like Eric Morales, the, the uh, next coming of Eric Morales. Who's his mark on Tony Barretta? <laughs> Takashi Miura. <laughs> this guy's serious, dude. Yeah. I mean, Takashi Miura is a tough fighter that even when he fought Francisco Vargas, you know, I was doing a little research on him. I was like, damn, dude, this is a tough fight because yeah. Takashi Miura has that, He's got that pop, yeah. major drastic punching power that the minute he connects, he'll drop you. He's like a mini Tyson, you know what I mean, in the smaller weight class. Yeah. This guy can punch in the Japanese. So um, he would be Morales' Barrera right now, uh, uh, like in the first fight, right. where they had to literally give out tickets in the first yeah. fight. Yeah. And in the second fight, there was nowhere, no way possible to get a ticket. You know what I mean? So tune in tonight. It's, gonna be, it's definitely going to be good. I mean, it's... it's uh, it's on HBO, so don't miss it. Well, what are your thoughts on the whole fiasco of Mayweather McGregor? I think it was cool. It was, it was a nice entertainment for the like first the press talk? conference. <laughs> Who won that fight? I was Who won the, the trash first press conference. It was cool. <laughs> Floyd won the first one. Uh, the second one came. It was even. Uh, Connor won the third. Connor won the fourth. But um, it was it was just too much. Yeah. You know, uh, it's like watching the same movie over and over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. After the second time, just like uh, change the channel. But um, I mean, I, that's why I only watched it once. I was only at the LA press mm -hmm. conference, and it was entertaining. Floyd surprised McGregor with a, a lot of crap. Uh, uh, not a lot of uh, trash talk. Yeah. You know, and um, hey, certainly uh, in. It's basically a small window that you just looked out of yeah. where you could, you could see that what it's going to be about. Right, right. It's just all entertainment. It's not a boxing fight, but it's entertainment for the fans. It's like, you know, watching a movie, like I said, it's just, uh, they're, they're actors. They're a bunch of actors. Is it going to be worth the entertainment value that they're going to offer at, what is it, $89, $90, um, and then it's $10 more, so basically $100 with HD. Is it worth the price tag, and will it break pay-per-view numbers? It will break pay-per-view numbers because it's bringing in different fans, you know, That's to true. the sport, mm -hmm. to the fight, and um, you know, it's just going to 
resolve all speculations and it's gonna res resolve and give you the answer to your curiosity. Yeah, which yeah, Which is yeah. what would happen if a UFC fighter faces a professional boxer, you know, and you'll find that out come come uh, September 22nd, I believe. August 22nd? August 22nd, I'm sorry. August 26th. August 26th. Yeah. Uh, we just have so many great boxing yeah, matches. Right? I'm talking. I'm already thinking about yeah, September because we got <laughs> Chocolatito fight right. August 9th. I'm mean, September 9th, and it's gonna be a great show. Um, so whoever's watching this, let's go to that one. Uh, August. I mean September 9th. You're gonna have Chocolatito Superfly, versus man. Superfly. That's the name Woo! of the show. Ruben Sai, Chocolatito. We have Carlos Cuadras, Gallo Estrada. These guys are the best in the division. I mean Chocolatito is one of the best. Ruben Sai. Um, Carlos Cuadras, El Gallo Estrada, dude, this is this is something else. I mean, then you got this new prospect that they say is is, is a major fighter uh, that's yeah. gonna make uh, his position be known in this flyweight division. I don't know his name, but I've heard a lot about him. So oh, we'll see. The Japanese superstar, Japanese new age, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, great. I mean, everyone. I mean, everyone should be excited, you know, because we have a lot of good boxing matches. Unfortunately, I'm not fighting. Yeah. But uh, I'll be fighting soon, hopefully, hopefully by, by end of the year. And, um, you know, but right now we're enjoying the, the boxing matches at hand that, that are, we will be able to be attend tonight. But, uh, we got August, we have Koto Kamagai, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be a war, you know, because Kamagai doesn't know how to take a step backwards. Yeah. You know, and even if he wanted to, he couldn't. And Koto, That's a the very experienced Reagan, veteran, yeah. you know, very much experienced veteran, veteran on HBO. Uh, boxing, so HBO Boxing, don't miss that one as well. Then we got Ruby Sai in Chocolatito, September 9th. Mm -hmm. And then Canelo yep. versus Triple G, September 20... September uh, 16th, a week after. September 16th, a week after. So everybody, tune in, don't miss it. HBO, where you gotta watch boxing. Thank you, Jesse. Proud, man. Hey,